Hey, welcome everybody. Happy Tuesday. The markets are officially closed. Let's talk about what happened today. A lot of interesting stuff. First of all, the Dow was down two points. The S&P gained six and the NASDAQ 100 gained 52. So there's a disconnect there. And we've talked about this in the past. When you don't see the markets moving in lockstep up a third of a percent or up a half a percent together, then we know there's something off. Something is wrong uh, and maybe it's one or two stocks. Now, this is very, very common during earnings season. A lot of times you'll see the NASDAQ have a big move in the Dow like today it did nothing. So that must mean that there's something out there that's either holding the Dow back or helping the NASDAQ. And for today, there's actually two good reasons. So we'll get through that in just a second. Um, basically, it's earnings season. The stocks, all these companies are reporting their earnings. And little by little, as they report earnings, you see sudden sharp moves in the price of stocks. This is why we don't invest our retirement clients in individual stocks for the most part, because you just never know what's going to happen. They report earnings. Everything might be great, but the stock goes down. We'll come to find out the company had negative outlooks going forward. Let's talk about a company that has nothing but positive things to say today. That is Netflix. There's your chart of Netflix on the screen. You see that big, huge move up there in the top over on the corner right about here? Well, that's earnings. Netflix came out with their earnings today. The stock shot up 10%. That means that the market cap, the valuation of Netflix is now at $100 billion. If you take... Um, well, we won't. It's a whole long thing. It's geeky stuff. If you want to know, if you're interested in me getting into great detail, leave a comment below. I'm willing to get as detailed as possible, but uh, let's try to keep it simple. To keep it simple, Netflix said, look, we added 8.3 8 million subscribers all around the world. I believe 2.2 of that came from the US and that was way beyond what everybody expected. So that puts Netflix up 10% on the day and now up 30% on the year. And it's still January, right? Right. So Netflix is absolutely killing it. They are spending a obscene amount of money to continue to produce new content and buy new content as well. So Netflix did really well. And that's your reason for the NASDAQ being up 52 on the day. That was your best performer, adding a half a percent, mainly because of Netflix. Okay, now the Dow. So the Dow was down today. What happened over there? Well, your worst performer in the Dow today, I believe, was Johnson & Johnson. So let me just double check real quick. We'll go over to the Dow. Dow Jones. Worst performer was Johnson & Johnson. You can see on the chart there, it had a pretty rough day. It sold off about 4%. Here's the thing. The patent companies have been just punishing uh, sorry, the patent offices have been just punishing Johnson & Johnson. Uh, today, they got more bad news that the company, um, the patent companies actually, patent judges, sorry, I can't speak today. I got to slow down, just talk normally. Um, they ruled that it invalidated one of their uh, patents on Remicide, Remicide. I don't actually know the name of that drug. I've never heard of that one. But the point is they were going after Pfizer for trying to sue for damages. And now that that patent has been invalidated because of some data that wasn't included in that patent, some of the fine print, basically, Johnson & Johnson got tripped up on, uh, they're not going to be able to go after Pfizer as much. So that means they may not make any money off of that effort. Um, and this comes really just a week. What was it last week or two weeks ago now where they, um, uh, the patent courts actually invalidated another uh, of their patents on uh, Zytiga, was it? Or Zaturga? Where was that? Zytiga. Never heard of that one either, but uh, highly competitive drugs. And apparently that means big business, especially for the Remicide or whatever that is. I'll have to ask my wife. She's a nurse practitioner. But anyways, uh, so basically that came out. They're losing these patents or they're invalidating these patents. And so nobody even paid attention to earnings. Earnings came out. Wasn't really that bad. Pretty good earnings expectations. Uh, but because of that news, which happened to come on the same day, uh, the stock fell about 4%, still up about 2% for the year. But boy, you can see right there how one day you get the direction wrong on this stock or any stock and one day erases, what, two weeks worth of gains. That's pretty horrible. Speaking of stock that's been erasing gains lately, we've got General Electric. We just commented yesterday in our video, did you think it was a time to buy? Was that a deep enough sell-off for you to want to buy? Uh, and apparently you guys all dove in there, all my viewers, all six of you, <laughs> I don't know, that went in there and you bought the stock today. It was up four and a half percent. So despite many people saying this 
is a catch a falling knife trade, which basically, you know, imagine trying to catch a falling knife. You're going to get hurt. You might catch the knife, but it's going to hurt. Uh, so that's the analogy they use. Doesn't matter. You guys and other investors went out there and said, that's a discount. I want to be involved in GE in the long term or even just in the short term. Stock was up 4.5% today. Not bad. Let's move on to Tesla, affecting your retirement investments. All of these stocks. Tesla, actually kind of interesting story here. They decided to um, set some benchmarks for the CEO, Elon Musk. So what the, what's been going on is he hasn't been hitting these metrics. He's been promising deliveries of the different models of the Teslas, and it hasn't been happening. So the, basically the board came out today and said, look, Mr. Musk, it's your company, you're the CEO, but we're not going to pay you anything until you hit our preset milestones. That means no bonuses, no salaries, nothing. He's got to hit these milestones. So pretty interesting there. The stock was a little higher on the day, but mostly everybody was looking at Netflix. Uh, the other thing, if you check out YouTube, it appears that somebody got a video of Tesla testing their semi truck. They were trying to hide it, driving in a little offbeat residential neighborhood, uh, but they got busted. Somebody filmed it. So it's on YouTube if you want to check that out. That is one of the first times anybody has actually seen them testing this on an open road. So maybe some good news coming there. On to Disney. The stock really wasn't higher today. It lost uh, half a percent. Not a big deal. Disney came out and said that we're going to give 125,000 of our employees a thousand dollar bonus, basically matching what everybody else uh, what has been doing since the tax reform became the new law. Uh, they also said they're going to start a $50 million education program for employees, whether you're salary or whether you're hourly. So that's pretty cool. Uh, stock really didn't budge. That's not something that's been moving stocks when these companies come out with these, this kind of news. It's basically just goodwill. Investors don't want to see you spending money on your employees. They want to see you spending money growing the company. So you've seen that if you watched a few of our videos. Bonuses to employees don't really help the stock price in the short term. Other than that, uh, that's basically the day. Hey, if you have a Mercedes or a BMW, they announced that they're actually going to test a subscription service so you could pay monthly and use a different car every month if you want. Cadillac, Volvo, Porsche did that in the past. It didn't go very well. Uh, but Mercedes and BMW said they're testing this. Really, think about it. The winner, if you're interested in investing in something like this, if this becomes a success, who wins in that battle? Tell me. Take a guess. Is it Mercedes? Probably not. Is it BMW? Probably not. Who's going to win if this subscription service becomes something that people do? It's the car insurance companies because you know you're not going to be able to have the basic insurance. You're going to have to have the Mac Daddy subscription-based service, and that's probably going to be highly profitable for them. So think outside the box there a little bit when you see these articles. What does that mean? What might that mean for your investments? I thought that was pretty cool. So that's really all I have for you today. Leave me a note in the comments below. Would you subscribe to a Mercedes subscription service, right? I would. I think that'd be pretty cool, but not at the prices the Cadillac was charging. Go back and look at how much they charged to rent the um, Escalade. Ridiculous. Anyways, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a note in the comments below. Visit jazzwealth.com. Click chat with jazz. If you have any other questions or want help with retirement investings, be sure to check out these other videos up here and we'll talk to you soon.